Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bake this Manhattan cheesecake. Before we get started, head over to my website, meadowbrownbakery.com. Sign up if you haven't already done so, and then close the page. Go to the courses website where you'll find a list of courses available to buy on my website. When you find the one that you like, you just click on it and you'll be taken to a sales page where there'll be a video telling you more about the course and there'll be a bit more information down the page about what's involved in the course and then you click buy and follow the buying process. Start off by melting some butter in a pot over a low heat and now crush the biscuits. These biscuits are quite easy to crush by hand. So I just get one and do that and break up the bigger pieces. Now pour the melted butter into the biscuits. And mix. Okay. Now put this to the side. I'm using my spring foam cake tin. It's got this latch that you release when your cake is baked. So I'm going to oil the bottom. With some vegetable oil. Okay. Going to put the biscuits on top. them down. Now I'm going to put this to the side while I make the topping. In this bowl I have some cream cheese, sugar and eggs. Now I'm going to add some vanilla bean extract and whisk. pour this into the biscuit base I'm going to put this on a baking tray let this sit on top and this is going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes until firm okay it's been about 20 minutes the cheesecake mixture is firm you have to it doesn't jiggle at all Okay, so you leave it to set for about 20 minutes and then put some sour cream in a bowl, add some sugar and vanilla extract. The ingredients will be in the link provided in the description below. Mix this together. Now this is going on top. Smooth it out as best as you can. Now I'm going to put this back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, now this is uh, out of the oven. It's still very hot. So leave this to cool completely and then put it in the fridge to set for at least eight hours or overnight. The cheesecake has been in the fridge overnight. Now I'm going to gently go around the edges just to loosen it so that it doesn't crack when I get it out. But if you have a blow torch, you can heat up the cake tin on the edges just a little bit to make releasing the cake easier. Now, I'm going to release this. Okay. And remove that.
it's beautiful i serve it on the the base you can put the base on the plate i'm going to cut a slice Just need to make sure that when you cut your cake, you just go down a bit deeper because the biscuits will be hard from the fridge. The first slice is always the hardest to cut, but once you've cut them, you find it's so much easier to cut the rest of the slices. I've warmed up some jam. I've warmed up some of my homemade raspberry jam. Indeed. Some on top. I need to taste some. It tastes amazing. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. For more videos like this, visit my website www.meadowbrownbakery.com. Please like and subscribe to my channel.